this is a uh, reel showing you how some of the shots came together in the high-speed compositing part of the show. High-speed uh, compositing is essentially a, another digital compositing tool where we piece different scenes together like a picture puzzle. It just is a little faster and a little more interactive in real time when you're working with it. Some of the other computer techniques take a lot longer and you don't see immediate results. Sitting down with Mark or some of the other high-speed compositing folks like Sheena Dougal and the rest, you can actually work out shots in a sitting instead of having to wait days to see results and see what you're doing. So you begin by, um, in compositing, what you're doing is you're laying together uh, several elements or, or uh, shots, separate backgrounds and uh, foreground pieces, uh, often using mats. You're either pulling a mat off of a blue screen or you're actually drawing around articulating a mat um, and then you're using that to paste it either behind or in front of another uh, photographic element. Uh, sometimes the elements are not photo photographic at all, they're generated within the computer either by painting or, um, or um, taking existing stills and doctoring them up or um, just creating them completely within as a three-dimensional element. Um, so a lot of these scenes, for example, on the on the beach, uh, Jody and uh, David Morris were shot in a blue screen. We would use uh, a proprietary technique to pull a mat on them, including every strand of hair, um, so that we could pl place the background behind them. Without them being transparent. That's the main reason for a mat, is you just don't want to have the background bleeding through the foreground, so the mat blocks out the background from bleeding through. And here again, it's very fast techniques for uh, placing in the artwork that we created for the sky. Uh, you can do some real fast checks on color, how it blends in with the background. And here we are back at the, the mirror shot, which again uses a lot of different compositing techniques and some 3D cheats you can do in the high speed uh, system. When the mirror closes towards the end, Mark really created the bevel mirror look, which didn't exist on it at all, and had to do some match move work on that and some fake sort of warping of the image instead of actual three-dimensional perspective shifts. It's a cheat when you warp uh, some of the different uh, perspectives around just to imply that that's what's going on. And here you can see the background element and the foreground element together and how they were had to be stuck together. The blue screen in the uh, mirror, once again, gives us an opportunity to pull mats of the foreground young Jenna easier than if it was black or any other color in there. In the example of this machine, um, we had to put the, a three-dimensional element underneath uh, Jody and the pod, the, the foreground set piece. Um, we had to often create the, the the flooring or um, other ar other pieces that need to go into it so you you can create as many as you know 30 40 50 different layers that need to be put into the scene um, you use blue screen often to help you start with matting and then um, and then build on that and this was again uh, other techniques is a lot of the match move techniques that are used to put in artwork that's created artwork of the machine artwork of the helicopters the uh, Inferno has a great match move uh, software and it's, it just makes it easier in placing in images that are false into real backgrounds. Here you would see the, uh, the command ship environment was shot out the window entirely blue screen allowed us to pull a mat on the action that was happening in the foreground and put the, put the background environment into it. And here again is a lot of compositing tricks with blending, you know, a, a different models of the uh, the pod and water splashes and a lot of different elements and really all these sequences are the same everything you're seeing is multiple multiple layers of material to make you believe what's happening because it takes a lot of different material to do the subtle blending it's like with Clinton here he was taken from a press conference thing that he did he didn't have the right suit on compared to the earlier stuff that was used in the sequence so we had to change all of the color and the tie patterns on it put our actors in And again, it's just like a large picture puzzle. You, you figure out what your final image wants to be. You discuss it with the director. You pre-plan like crazy because there is no happy accidents in the world of computers, generally. 
it's not like shooting stuff practically where sometimes you have nice wonderful serendipity things that you know just happen that are magical that you can use you have to plan strategically for that feel because it's a very complicated design trick to sort of come up with these moments that are sort of inspired and magical and make it feel spontaneous in the world of digital because it has to be pre-planned to death and that's a real trick. Here's an example of the blue screen floor we had to deal with in the, in the uh, Hokkaido machine. The various uh, layers we had to create, the smoke, the rings that, that move around, the machine below, the water below that. It's really like, a, in a way, it's like an oil painting. You start roughing something in and it takes layers and layers of paint and material to get that final image that's the what you want everyone to see where it finally is you know you pull it off and it takes uh, months and it takes a lot of patience 